One of the big new changes in PowerShell version 3, I think, has to do with get child item, or we typically use the dir command or dir alias. One of the biggest is that we no longer need to do filtering on attributes, passing a, a dir command to where object to say get just files or just directories. There are new filtering attributes, uh, dash file, dash directory, dash read only, hidden system. So that makes it much easier, as I show you in that last example there, I can do a directory of my work folder and get just the files and then pipe those file objects on to measure object and measure the sum of the length property. So I no longer have to do a convoluted where object, where dollar sign, underscore, PSS container. I don't have to do any of that. Just use these new attributes. There is actually uh, a dash attributes parameter, which you can use for some other things if you want to get like the archive attribute. But being able to filter on dash file, dash directory is really, really cool. So let me show you that. So if we look at the dir command or get child item, you can see the new parameters here. We still have dash filter, but here's dash attributes, directory, file, hidden, read only. All right, so we still have all of that. We have the other things, but these new parameters as well. So if I do, let's say, just a directory of the C drive, which I know will have some hidden folders, let's do F8. All right, so there's the directories, the attributes. I don't see the other stuff that I know is there. So let's say I just want to get a directory items. So let's do directory C colon backslash whatever path is dash directory. And now I have just the folders, no convoluted filtering with where object. I have just the folders or let's get just the hidden files. So there we go. So you can see, so I got hidden directories and files, but everything with that dash H or dash hidden much easier to work with. Let's get just the system files. Now I don't have any attributes or any files that have just the system. They're a combination there of hidden as well. So what I can do and what I have to do in this situation is I need to combine and use multiple parameters here. So let's get all the hidden and system files. And there we go. If I wanted just directories, I could include dash directory or I can find wanted just files. I could do add just uh, dash file to that as well. which is what I'm going to do here. So there are my hidden system files, all very easily done with no convoluted where object filtering. I think that's very handy. I think a lot of people are going to find that useful. Uh, the dash attributes parameter works to allow me to specify a one or more attributes just separated by comma. For, so if I want to find all the hidden files with the archive attribute set, there we go. Pretty straightforward, I think. But this makes it much easier because it's still writing directory and file objects to the pipeline. So now I can do a directory, say, get me just the files. And because I want to measure how much space, let's say, all the files are taking up in my temp directory. So I'll run that. And there's my answer. Again, no complicated filtering with where objects. I think that is a a big benefit to IT pros who are going to be using PowerShell version 3. All right, so that is a quick look at the new changes to get child item.